So basically the Astrodome has three different structural components. I mean, you could say it's just two, but there's a base structure, which is this drum structure, which is just a simple post and beam vertical structure. And it's composed of 12 segments. Each one is 30 degree angle. And it's all straight pieces. It's very interesting. The base is just straight sticks of steel. The dome structure is very, very different. That's the second aspect of the structure. It's composed of, again, these, this um, 30 degree segment that's repeated 12 times around the center of the dome. And it's composed of these triangles. And it's actually called the lamella structure. The lamella structures are famous for making things extremely thin and spanning huge distances. So this entire truss is only five feet deep and it spans 640 foot clear span. So it's an incredibly delicate, almost like eggshell thick uh, structure. The third element of the structure is this thing called the tension ring or the compression ring. So there's a lot of um, horizontal force that's being generated by this lamella structure. So what happens is, is all this force comes into this tension ring and then is verticalized and goes straight down into the post and beam structure. This outer ring of structure here is actually not even necessary to support the dome. Just this inner ring of straight sticks of post and beam structure takes all of the weight of the dome and verticalizes it into the ground. So it's really, really ele super elegant, um, thin structure. The dome itself is amazing because all of these trusses are curved. Unlike the base structure, uh, the cylinder that goes around, these are just straight sticks of steel. The, the original building was built with the, with the temporary support. So they actually built the dome structure and the base structure simultaneously. So there was rings of towers, vertical um, towers to temporarily support the dome structure while they built it. And it, what was super cool about it was they built it from the top down. So you see these old photographs and there's one center tower and then the concentric rings of temporary false towers you know, that go around to support it. And that basically these, these lamella trusses, you see them growing over time and they come down and they come down, 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 and then they meet the base structure. It's just incredible. It looks like fireworks, like steel fireworks frozen in the sky. And I think that's why so many people were, you know, amazed by it. You're just driving by it. You know, they saw the temporary um, tower structures and they thought they were oil, oil derricks. They had no idea what was going on. And then all of a sudden this circular curved trusses are sprouting off of these vertical support structures. The actual building, the steel, the vertical columns are actually thick at, near the bottom because there's more load in them. And as they get up towards the roof, there's less load and they actually get thinner because they have to, they take less weight. So we didn't model that. It would be, you know, this, this little model took six months to build. Um, it would have taken me two years to build if I actually made it out of, you know, the actual uh, proportions. But uh, it's, it's close enough. It's, it's very, very close.